Hi, thanks for watching my Steam Party how to video. In this video, we're going to discuss a new feature in 2.0 and later called the Steam Party Component. The Steam Party Component is a way to quickly add functionality from the Steam Party Network. So let's get going here. The first thing that we want to do is some of the older videos, like the, um, the player controller video, is no longer um, obsolete. This is the new way to do it. The other videos left for legacy uh, installations. But what we would do now is go to our uh, player controller that we want to interact with the uh, the menu and etc. But we want to go ahead and do an add component. And now we have something called Steam Party. We click on that. And then now we have access to all the events that we can hook into from the Steam Party. Uh, we'll go ahead and look at this one. If we want to add some of these, we can just click on, on Player Join Steam Party. We can click on the Steam Component on Player Left Steam Party. We can start tying these signals to our menu so the menus can update accordingly. Now, uh, instead of going through each one of these and uh, hooking up manually, we can also uh, just copy an example, so we don't have to do this, it's very tedious. So we'll go over to the uh, content directory, uh, go to the show engine and plugin content options on the, uh, the view options here. And then we can go to the Steam Party. Blueprints is a new folder that came with a 2.1. We'll click on that and we'll see PC Steam Party example, open that up. And here's a place we can quickly cut copy this whole section here. So we know exactly how to hook up everything we need to hook up for the default Steam Party menu system. So we'll go back to our other play controller and just paste it in. And then go back to the Steam Party and go ahead and paste this in. Play. I'll get some room over here. Move that over here. This way we don't have to have necessarily the demo uh, project example loaded to get this information. Uh, this way we create other things. Uh, we do need to create the, the, the function. So we'll go ahead and go to the party example, get this function, create party panel, copy. And add two functions here. Create party panel. No space. And destroy party panel. Open the create party panel. Paste in what we had already. And we would do want to go ahead and uh, click on these and hit create variable to automatically. Uh, this one should now compile. See, create party. Oh, here we go. Delete this old one, the new one. And then we need to go to the uh, destroy party panel. Copy that one over. All right, let's see if this will compile now. All right, it looks happy. Everything looks good. And there we have it. Now we have all the functionality tied into our player controller uh, that we need uh, to get the default menu system working. Uh, one of the cool thing about the Steam Party component is that we need to go ahead and uh, if we need access to another in, an actor entity, uh, like say the game mode, we can actually come in here and add that component inside of here. So let's go ahead and add the Steam Party. This is something that a lot of people have been wanting is access more information uh, from the uh, Steam Party. So we'll go ahead and compile that. Now we have the same exact thing. So for some reason, let's say we wanted to handle uh, some player options when they log into a game mode, we can sit there and say, hey, we have a player joined up here. We can have multiple Steam Party components across multiple entities, and all of those will get all events. So if you have one player controller, one the game mode, one the character, one in uh, game state, one in whatever you wanted to have it in. Um, I don't know why you would have so many of them, but you could have as many as you wanted and all the events would fire. It's a multi-cast delegate system in C++, so everything will get the event. Uh, it'd be like an event dispatcher. Well, that's the new feature for the Steam Party. Hopefully you guys uh, like the change and makes it easier to get all the information uh, that we can get. 
uh, if you look over here, uh, that includes the join, left party, a player changed, uh, party state changed, the party owner uh, changed, the party message, the party owner would be the leader, the party joining game, that means that we're actually transitioning to a level from the host, on party host connection failure, you can handle a failure event, on party host reconnecting Steam Party, so it's reconnecting to a uh, an existing party after match is over. And then on party invite, receive from Steam Party. So anytime you get an invite from a Steam Party, you can tie an event here. Uh, and those are the, the, the main ones. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And thanks again for watching. Bye.